Hey there guys, OGM here, welcome you back to Ukulele. So guys, in the last episode, we made it all through the jettison. Like honestly, all through the jettison. Everything is 100% done now. So only thing we have left to do is just start cleaning up. And then obviously the big old balls that I've told you guys not to forget about, which I'm sure some of you guys have already forgotten about. So let's go ahead and pop all these balloons here. If I can, actually. I don't know if I really can from right here. It doesn't look like it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Splat. Broke my face. Okay, that's fine. There's a big guy down here. I don't like that at all. We need to fly. We need to fly. We need to fly. Ooh, I dodged that, didn't I? Hey. Hey. I'll take it. All right, so let's go ahead and pop these balloons like so. And then this one right about nya. Right about nya. No nya. No na. No. 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 I can't actually see where the heck I'm going because I'm flying around in circles. There we go. Got it. It was kind of awkward. I really wish I could have squished that yellow guy or the orange guy. That would have been really cool if I could have, but I missed him barely. Hello, pagey piece. I need you. I'm the third pagey piece. Wow. That's the third piece. That means that over there is number one. That's kind of far away from, like, all of them, so I would kind of shocked that it would be... One would be on one side, two is the complete opposite, and then three is in the middle. I would think it would go one, two, three, but no. It goes two, three, one for whatever reason. Unless I just grabbed them all in the wrong order or something, which is completely possible, but you know what I mean. Either way, though, here we go. Go ahead and fly down over here. And... Grab that balloon, that one. Right there, and last one. Perfect. Cool. There it is. We're done. Sweet. Let's go ahead and just land it out here. Awesome, I'm about out of energy, too. I just realized that. That's kind of sad. But there we go. Three of three. 100% done. You found my pieces. Return them to me. All right, little buddy, I will for sure, but I definitely need energy first. All right, cool. Well, I guess now we'll go ahead and go over to the pirate ship here, grab these quills that I missed last time, and then, uh, pretty sure that's actually it. And then, like, we have to go to a whole new island. Which is great for us. I'm completely okay with that. Let's go ahead and grab this, this, and that. Fly on up here to the very, very tippy top. And there we go. We are done. So let's chill here in the crow's nest and look around for where the heck we need to go. Over there, I see all the quills. So, we need to go ahead and take the little space ramp here and then uh, go on over. Sure, why not? I guess back over to the frogman anyway. I didn't even realize this is where we're going to end at. Oh, little frogman, uh, I hope that your little new fishing technique works out well for you. I guess we're supposed to roll on this, but, you know, I'm just going to fly it over because cheating! I love it. It's what I do all the time, if I can, I should say. All right, so we've got quills on these pieces. We've got a pagey in there, which I do see. And we've got, it looks like some type of, like, sucking tube, so maybe we have to push something. That was a blue thing. I, not, I can't touch that. Do I have to... Hmm, it looks like a ball of some sort. What ball do I have to push through here? And I'm pretty sure if I hit this, it's going to rage the cage, right? How much you guys want to bet? It does. Which means I have to get that ball that's falling through there to get onto there. Ooh, this is going to be really interesting then, isn't it? So, activate shield, I guess? No, not yet. Here we go. This should be it right here. This should be the spot. I did it, and that ball is electrocuted. I saw that. That ball is full of electricity, meaning that I'm going to have to blast that thing while in the shield if I do not want to be hit. Yep. I can't even tail whip it. It's just there. All right. Well, golf part two. I still hate golf, but at least this one should be more controllable, I think. I hope. I should say. I shouldn't say I think. I hope it will be more controllable. Because I'm pretty good at at least being able to control the rolling aspect. But I need, I need the energy. That's what it comes down to. I just need the energy. I can't do it without the energy. I can't even just yell at it. Dang. Oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? It's going to be a lot of just awkwardly standing here. And this is why they have the minions, because they can murder you while you're stuck here. Oh, this is going to suck. All right, game. You win. I admit it. You were smart. I can't out really smart you there. That was a smart way for you guys to handle that. Okay, now... I want to deal with these guys, but I don't want them to see me either. So I'm going to have to do this very carefully. 
going to have to just wait for this thing to roll out, right? And I'm going to have to get by that big guy. That's my biggest concern is the big guy. So go like this, and then ready. Go like that. Perfect. Let it roll, let it roll, let it roll, let it roll, let it roll. It hit him. Okay. It's not what I wanted it to do, but it hit him. Cool. I'm going to hang out up here. Cool. You just deal with that, big guy. You, Yeah, you have a field day with that thing. Let it just keep hitting you backward. Why not? Is he really just going to play with that the whole time and just keep getting blasted backward? I think he is because he's stupid. Yeah, he totally was. He was just going to play with it the whole time. What a Dumbo. What a Dumbo. All right. Well, that's fine. Either way, we've got it now. It's just a matter of pushing it to where it needs to go now. So that should be easy. I just need a little bit of energy left, and then I should be able just to, I guess, one good bash into the hole, and we should be do We should be done. Should be done. Here we go. So get the shield. Get a little push over, and now we get the lineup shot, like I said, and then one good old bash on in, and it should be in. Here we go. Ready? Put that on. Bash it. Wow. Too sh okay, I have hiccups. Uh, too strong, though. That's kind of shocking. Whew. I was expecting that just to be like a little simple push in, but no. Apparently not. It actually wanted a simple push in, not a bash, which is fine. I should have thought about that, to be fair, but no. It honestly wanted the push. So now we just wait for my health to come back, or energy, or whatever you want to call it. Come back, please. Thank you. And now, here we go. Just roll it out real slowly here. And that should be about it, right? There it is. Perfect. Grab this pagey. And there we go. 58. Wow, man. That's insane. 58 pagies. Whew. Crazy. And then we have 60 to unlock this world. So it's going to take, obviously, the 15 to heal it. But you know what I mean. Did I miss another quill? Or is that a light? No, it must be a light on that ship. Okay, I was concerned there for a minute. I was going to be like, are you serious? I missed a quill. But no, I think it's just a lantern hanging on the actual ship itself. Which is better than what I thought it was. So, here we are in the space cog station. And flying, isn't it? And what the heck are the, the up things? Oh, they're fans. Okay. Cool. And these are just quills down here? Perfect. Fine with me. Go ahead and grab these quills and all these chests. I wonder how close we are to like being done with this level. Probably about halfway, to be honest. Because, I mean, if you think about it, we just keep getting areas. And we're just going area to area to area. And all these little areas right now are just like, here's one quill, here's two quills, here's five quills. Like, they're just slowly adding up. We haven't had a major quill area in a long time. So that's why I'm wondering, like, how far are we exactly? I am curious. I know I could always just look at my totals, but meh. I'm TNT? Or a grenade, rather? Why am I given a grenade? That is kind of concerning that I was given a grenade. I know that the thing's going, but that's not what I want. Why was I given a grenade? That part I want to know. Why was I given a grenade? I'm not entirely sure, but it looks like I'm going to have to find that out later, because it looks like right now we're dealing with the little hoops of death here. So, Hoops, oh death, are you ready for me? I'm ready for you. Let's do it. Do that. And I might not even need to fly, do I? Oh, no, you totally need to fly because it still bashes you down or pushes you down or whatever you want to call it. Oh, no, it doesn't. You can fly through that. Okay. You don't even need to fly then. Wait, what the heck happened right there? Okay, game. Does it not completely fly you? Do only some fly you? Is that what I'm supposed to understand? Only some breezes actually. I just saw what it was. There's a blue breeze that pushes you down. The yellow one rises you up. I did not understand that. Interesting, actually. So, this one is going to launch you because it's going that way. This one's going to push you down, so I need to dodge it. I didn't see that at first, actually. Kind of glad that I saw it that time. This one I need to fly because it's going to throw you awkwardly. I'm not sure if I can get through it if I don't. I missed. I missed. Oh, no, I didn't. I got it. Sweet. I'll take it. Get that one, get that one, and now where are we going? Down there, I see it. Oh, little shadow, where are you? Thank you. Give me that. Come through here, grab that. And now Flappy Flight, I guess? Here we go. Grab this, grab that, grab that one, that one, that one, and last one right here. And there it is, guys, we've done it. Cool, not bad. It wasn't that bad once I understood the concept. 
I mean, I feel like that's just this whole entire game. Once you understand the actual puzzle itself or the obstacle course or whatever it may be in order to get to Pagey, it's not bad at all. It's just the concept in and of itself. Do you understand what's going on in this particular spot? Yes or no? Answer is no. Then you just keep trying until you get it. Answer is yes. Oh, I got it. It's just that simple. Duh. Like, it seems like some of, like, some of the pages in here are just like, oh, duh. Why didn't I get that? It's kind of simple, but whatever. That's just how I always look at it. All right, so where to now exactly? Um, well, we did the big thing, and we already got this one, so I guess now we go down here, huh? Cool. Let's do it. There's nothing up there either. Okay, cool. So then let's go ahead and land it out here. And toilets. Who doesn't love a good potty joke once in a while, right? I mean, this level's full of potties everywhere. We've got the cone taking a dump. We've got the the golf ball taking a crap. Why doesn't this one take a crap, too? I mean, why not? Potties everywhere. Yay for potty humor, clearly, is what we're learning here. Grab all these. Grab this one. And fly through right about. Yeah, perfect. Cool. Well, then. Do I break into these potties? Oh, I was saying, do I break into the potties? And yes, I do break into the potties. Because look, there is a quill. Cool, that's good to know. At the same time, kind of gross. I just walked into that guy taking a crap. Maybe he had to pee or something. Hello? Hello, sir? Is there someone out there? Help! Uh, oh my gosh. Did you guys just hear that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh, these are solid farts. Okay. Oh, fart jokes. This is what I've stooped to. Oh, I'm actually 12 years old. It's fine. Uh, hello? What seems to be the problem? Oh, thank goodness. It's a right mess in here. The plumbing's had it, and I'm on the verge of a serious problem. Yikes, can we help? If you need to use the facilities, you'll have to go down below and fix the plumbing. Be quick, though. The cabin is almost out of stock, and all I've got left is this golden piece of paper. Can you wash it afterwards? We're collecting those. Laylee! We'll be quick as we can, sir. Just hold on. Thanks a bunch, fellas. Hold on. I'll get the door for you. I've got a remote. Oh my gosh. He's just farting the whole time. That guy. Oh, that guy. Nope. No one's peeing in here. Okay. Anything in here? No. I already got that one. That's the guy that's taking the crap. Yeah. This one. The quill's going pee. All right. Grab that. Is that mold or something? Oh, my gosh. There is mold growing inside those things. Oh, jeez. That's so gross. That poor guy, he's taking a crap in there, and he just he's struggling. He's like, Ugh. And then the whole entire time, it's just mold's growing in there with him. Oh, those poor guys. Jeez. All right. Well, what the heck does this button do? Hopefully something good, right? Oh, that, oh, ew, that's the sewage line. Oh, that's so gross. Oh, oh and that's su raw sewage. Mm. Yeah, I'd take damage from that, too. That's disgusting. Oh, that's so gross. Oh, this is so gross. Oh, that's so gross, man. Oh, ew. Either way, though, we've done it. We made it to the next section, I guess. But before I hit that button, whatever that may be, I want this quill. Because if that raw, if that button activates more raw sewage, I want nothing to do with that raw sewage. Only thing I can think of through here is just, I am the great mighty poo. That's all I can think of right now. I mean, it's all just raw sewage anyway, right? What does this button do? Wait, what the heck did that do? I don't even know what that did. It made sound. That's all I know of, though. What's this button do? Oh. It opened a cage. Okay, so maybe the other one opened up a cage, too. So let's go... Oh, you touched the raw sewage again. Let's go ahead and lick this thing, because you know what's better than licking sewer pipes. So gross. Poor Yuka needs to wash his tongue. Maybe burn his tongue after this, to be honest. Poor guy. Alright, so what the heck did I just do now? Uh, I need to find the piping for this, I guess. Because there's no pipe here, really, is there? Maybe it's above, and I have to, like, knock it off, because there are arrows... So, oh yeah, right there. Perfect. I found it. I found the other pipe. And apparently they're like, hey, there's butterflies here. Eat them or use them to your leisure or something. Yeah, I've got to... Oh my gosh, all this sewage, man. All this sewage. 
It's so gross. Oh, but I love it. Somehow this is entertaining to me. Like I said, maybe it's because I'm actually 12 years old, but still. Alright, well, I think that'll do her. I'm pretty sure that's going to have to do her. Man, these are a lot of pipes for one guy to take a crap. That guy must have the ultimate, the ultimate burrito that he ate. Or maybe he just had a lot of McDonald's. I feel that guy's painted he had a lot of McDonald's. Oof. Here we go. Smash the button, and... Oh my gosh, you can hear it run through it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that poor guy. <laughs> yes, it's flushing, I'm saved. Oh my gosh, that poor guy. Oh, he can only, he's happy because it's flushing. Oh man. And he slides out the top. Oh, that poor Pagey probably is like dying right now. I don't know what's worse, like, the poo covered pages from before with all the raw sewage and the the like the swamp or that guy that literally just took a fresh crap and then just pushed out the window for us. Oh no. Oh, we definitely have a crappy job here. No like no pun intended, but like, oh man, you can lately definitely have a crappy job right there, man. Oh, poor guys. I'm sorry guys. Oh, I'm so sorry. Making you pick up all that poo. Jeez. Either way though, so that's another island completed 100%. I guess what we have to do now is let's go talk to Dr. Puzz and actually start up, like I said, the good 30% of this world that we've been skipping. Or not. There's quills down here. Hold on. I lied, everyone. So uh, remember that that Dr. Puzz thing? We're going to put it on hold even longer now, right? Go ahead and grab these quills. Because, you know, quills are amazing. And I need them. Sorry, Dr. Puzz. Going to have to get you to wait, madam. Is that it? I guess that's it. Hello, a little eyeball. How are you? And a toilet. Yeah. Okay, he's dead. He was dead. Hello, chest. I love me a good chest. Everyone knows that. Talked about that on stream before. Who doesn't love a good chest? If you say you don't love a good chest, you're lying, dude. You play any video game ever, and they give you a chest, you're not going to be like, I don't want your chest. No, you're like, oh my gosh, give me your chest. I want it. The bigger the chest, the better, dude. I mean, obviously, the bigger the chest, that means more stuff's inside, right? Everyone loves a good old big chest. All right, so... We've got a metal ball there. And what are you? You're a workout frog. Hello. Blurp. Greetings. Welcome to the Galactic Strength Test. The ultimate test for wannabe recruits. Recruits? Blurp. Of course. You're strong enough to make the ball reach the top. Then you're ready to claim the golden artifact and officially become a fully armed Blampoblin? I think that's how you say that. Usually, we don't consider aliens, but you look like you're the right shade of green. Oh, is it because you're a frog? Is that, is that racist? Or is that specious, I guess? I don't know what you would call that. Either way, though, is that a frog joke? What do you think, recruits? We'll give it a go, especially if there's a golden artifact involved. Blurp! That's right. They, or that's the right attitude, recruits. To test your strength, just hit the platform as hard as you can. Don't forget, give it all. Okay, um, well, bash? Nothing. Blurp! I could hit it harder than that when I was just to spawn. Okay. Well, then, does that mean I have to go ahead and go from the top and bash it? I mean, that's the only thing I can think to do. Go ahead and come up here. Come up here like this. One more shot, and there it is. Perfect. So, now smash. I got you higher. Got you up to about like 95, maybe. Blurp. A decent effort, recruits. But you can do better. All right, fine. Well, then, we do the undoable. The do-doable. Who doesn't love the doo-doos? The doo-doos were cheating. I guess. I mean, technically, this is what you're supposed to do, but it feels like cheating. So that's why I'm calling it. We're cheating. Hooray. And smash. Oh, geez. The thing, like, launched off of it, too. It didn't just go up to the top. It launched off. Good lord. Blurp. Good blazing bump cleanse. How'd you hit it that hard? Uh, definitely not cheating, and I definitely wasn't purely metal. I swear. Great work, recruits. You've more than proven yourself as fully qualified war machines. Yeah, I have. Blurp! Enemy of the Blumpkins will surely tremble at the sight of our new green and purple war machine. 
take her golden artifact and head straight to war recruits. What exactly is war, to be honest? I don't know what you would classify as war. Is it just, are we fighting that space lady? Because, I mean, she put a self-destruct system in there, which she could have activated herself and she would have just went in. But, I mean, to be fair, I want to fight space lady. She's kind of a uh, vicious and a bounty hunter is what it seems. So, I mean, you know, I enjoy life. Just saying. Just saying. Life is good. And uh, I enjoy having one and not being dead. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Not being dead. Just saying. All right. So... I guess now, finally, Dr. Puzz. Hello, madam. I'm here for you. Are you ready? It's been forever since we've seen you. Oh, that was ever so kind of you to activate the light speed house. Uh, you really helped me come back to port. Have you discovered the book? This book's world's molecule yet? Its power is marvelous. We found your token. It was easy. Now move over, Doc. I'll open the machine and put it in. Don't touch. It's a very delicate piece of machinery. Yeah, yeah. Keep your bowl on. The transformation bit better be good this time. Like I said, this is probably one of my all-time favorite transformations besides the helicopter. The helicopter is amazing, and this one, believe it or not, is better. I love it. Are you ready for the transformation? Yes, we are. Let's do it. Aww, yeah. Hmm, I suppose that'll do. Control the spaceship. Oh, yes, she went there. We are a spaceship. Yes. Either way, though, here we go. Use something to sail. Press A to boost. Careful with something, something, and something, though, because they'll trigger your weapons. Oh, yeah, you have multiple weapons. First off, you have a standard cannon. You have an ice cannon and a fire cannon. Oh, yeah. They went there. Now, this is the thing. You have this little blue ball, right? What do you think you got to do? Ice cannon, right? No, you're wrong. Fire cannon. And then you have the red balls. Ice cannon. No, again, you're wrong. Use the regular cannon. But if you guys will notice, they have items inside of them, like quills. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember when I said that 30% of the world's unlocked? Because most of them are all under the balls. Have it be quills or pathways to pages or what have you, guys. There is so much that gets unlocked with this power-up. And I love it. Oh, man. And we're just going to be flying around like crazy, too. Just unlocking everything left and right now. Because I did everything around first. And then we unlocked the ship. So there are a couple areas we have to return to in order to get all the stuff from it. But for now, this is pretty good. Hey, you! Up here! Would you be so kind to save me from this KG? I'm kind of upside down, and I'm probably losing all the blood from my head. Thankfully, I don't have any blood because my page, but you know, it's fine. All right, hello, little ice ball there. Can I burn you? I hope so. Burn! And nothing. Sad. I was hoping that you'd have a quill for me, but apparently not. Hello, quills. I remember skipping you, like, what was it, episode one I skipped you guys? Holy cow, man, that was forever ago. Grab those quills. Get in my pocket, please. There's a quill over there. I see that one. Burn that rock. Oh, yeah. If you guys can't tell, by the way, you can actually go ahead and blast things even if they're on land. Keep that in mind as well because there are a couple areas that you cannot access until you open them up. So you're going to have to open them and then come back. Oh, yeah. Kind of crazy, isn't it? So, next, I'm going to have to find where I need... Ah, there it is. I was going to say where I need to shoot in order to get into there. So there's your shot right there. Now I just need to shoot the button. If I can actually see where it is. But I got it. Cool. Perfect. Sweet. The space gate is down! I repeat, the space gate is down! I wonder if I can actually go into targeting like this. Can I? No, you cannot. Okay, that's fine. That's not that bad, actually. I mean, you can really see, like, right over Laylee's face as she is the mast after all. So it's not that bad. It's really not. Let's go ahead and just nail this thing real quick. Nail that thing. And what is in there? It looks like another rock, huh? Dang. They really just want to make sure that you're working it. I mean, to be fair, this is probably like the best way to train you about all the different guns. So it's kind of fair. It makes sense after all. Gonna grab these quills here. These are nice for me. Blow up that rock. And what did that do exactly? That opened up a path of some sort, I think. But what path did it open? Ah, there it is. 
the shot to end all shots, right? It was. That was actually a great shot, too. You did it! Is it going to fall down now? Oh, no, it just falls open. Oh, he just falls straight down. Well, thanks, buddy. I got you now. You're mine. Sweet. Well, then, uh, I guess... I guess it's going to have to do it because, guys... Next time on ukulele, we're going to continue to drive around here and open up more of like, these rocks over here and stuff. But guys, do you realize how much is about to open up to us now that we have this ship unlocked? We have a spaceship. A literal spaceship. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Also, ice block. Kind of wanted to show this off before the end of the episode. Look at that. Burr. I was a little bit too chilled out there. Thanks for thawing me. You guys see who it is? It's the broken page we found before. So, guys, with that being said, we started this episode with freeing the rest of the pieces for the broken page. And next time, everyone, we're probably not going to get him because we have more things to unlock first with Yuka and Laylee. So, guys, join me next time as we use our spaceship here to go ahead and unlock the rest of the world. If you guys like this, then feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, OGM, signing out.